Hey, what is up guys? Davion here and I'm coming at you with a home workout today that you can use things around your house to be your weights and your resistance. For example, here I'm doing a bicep curl with a bucket of water and I filled the water to the amount needed to complete my reps for the set. So it's going to be different weights for different people. The amount of sets that you are trying to complete will determine how much you fill the bucket. Um, this is good because this is adjustable. If you do not have the money to buy dumbbells and uh, use the bathtub to fill the water and adjust it as needed, uh, this is great for drop sets. Fill it up to a heavier weight in the beginning stages and towards the end of the workout you can uh, release the water and have a lighter load. Okay, now we're gonna switch arms and the thing you want to be mindful of when you're using a bucket is the size of the bucket. So yes, a larger bucket can hold more water and increase load and more resistance. However, you want to be mindful of the range of motion and where it cuts off. For me using this bucket, it makes contact with my forearm, not allowing me to reach the peak contraction at the top of the movement. That being said, it's still a great exercise because this, this routine is gonna tire you out, it's gonna exhaust your muscles, you're gonna build strength and build muscular endurance. Uh, there's a lot of reps in, in, the, in this routine and you can comp complete as many rounds as, as you'd like. And for the footing, you wanna have a staggered stance, which means one foot behind, one foot in front. That way, your quadriceps do not cut off the range of motion. Next we have inverted rows. What you'll need is two chairs and a flat sturdy beam. Uh, you could use a broom, a mop stick, or uh, some type of like two by four material. Just anything flat that will hold up on the armrests of the chairs or the ledge. Um, and you want to hang from your hands and have a flat back in the start position and pull yourself up using your chest and your biceps to touch the bar. Here we have a concentration curl using a cable. You want to place your elbow on the inside of your thigh next to your knee and curl the weight by stepping on it with your outside foot. And the closer you are to the handle, the more resistance you'll feel in your biceps. And you want to make sure to get both arms. And uh, these are more of a pulse because of the equipment that we have on hand. Now we're gonna get into some narrow push-ups because the more narrow you get, the more it works your triceps instead of the chest and, and go until failure for the first round. Then we're gonna do drop sets of these and decrease the reps by two each time. So failure for the first round, then 12, then 10, then eight, then six. Here we have chair dips. These work on the triceps, and the better you get at these, the more you can extend. But if, if you're a beginner, you wanna have your knees at a 90 degree angle, and this will make it easier. Here we have the variation of a push-up called decline push-ups, which means you have your feet on an elevated surface, and your, and your torso is, is lower than your feet. Next, we have bicep push-ups. You want to turn your palms 180 degrees and face them behind you. This activates the bicep. You want to do these for about 10 reps on the first set. Next we have diamond push-ups. It's okay to do it on your knees as these are more challenging when your triceps are not fully developed. So. Uh, don't mind going on your knees and bang these out. 